Stay away from me! If I could worm into their mainframe, I'd do all sorts of naughty things. But I don't have the gear for that. Viola is dead! Earth is dead. So how about you stop being a fucking asshole and say thank you for giving us the hope you'll never She initially appeared in the Power CGI trailer for Saints Row the Third and wasn't officially named until a month later. She was a member of the FBI until she was dismissed for possessing what was claimed to be manufactured evidence. She's a paranoid conspiracy theorist and has a wide range of technical skills. Who am I referring to you may ask? Sasha Gray. Okay, no, not Sasha Gray. Today, I am referring to the one and only Agent Kensington. Sit back, order a pizza, make some popcorn and chill out. Because in today's history lesson, we take a look into the life and the history of none other than Kinsey Kensington. You can survive a gunshot, but if your mind takes too much shock in this chair, you'll go brain dead. Great plan, Kinsey. I know. You ready? Let's do it. Kinsey Kensington is a red-headed Caucasian female who looks to be in her early to mid-twenties during the events of Saints Row the Third, while in Saints Row 4 she looks to be much older, in her late twenties to early thirties, with the events of the game being set five years after the previous installment. In both games, she is of average build, although she's almost as tall as the playa. Her eyes are blue and her face is covered in freckles, otherwise known as a freckle bitch, as some might say. Kinsey is introduced as a socially awkward young woman who is a social, witty, sarcastic, and mock serious. She is very lighthearted and youthfully cocky, mentioning that she finds the Deckers too easy to hack. Being an agoraphobic, she doesn't venture very often from her warehouse on her own, and in the case that she does put out on her own, she goes out with other people such as the playa. She is very paranoid about various things, but at the same time is right about many of them. Kinsey had warned that the Zinn are about to attack the Earth, but her warnings were ignored. Kinsey has a habit of invading other people's privacy. She demonstrates a high level of intelligence and is responsible for broadcasting the player's subconscious into the Decker's use net, as well as being behind the creation of the RC Possessor weapon and a working replica of the Cyberbuster. She's also credited with dismantling a massive air carrier that attacks Steelport and stopping Cyrus Temple from destroying the United States Capitol. Kensington also demonstrates a softer side to her personality when she meets the rest of the Saints at the Broken Shalele during the alternate ending of Saints Row the Third after Shandi and Viola are killed prior to Stag's attack on Steelport. Despite her hatred for Matt Miller, she stands up for him when the player loses their temper. She also feels the same way towards Oleg, after he revealed he was in love with Kensington, as mentioned in one of her audio logs. Oleg is one of the best things that ever happened to me, and right now it feels like the worst. I'm up here trying to save us from captivity and psychological torture, and all I can think about is him. He's the only one who ever truly understood what I was saying. I never thought I'd meet someone with an intelligence nearly matching my own who made me feel like I wasn't constantly missing something in my life. Now I am. Now I miss him. And she does happen to scream Oleg's name when the Earth is destroyed. In Saints Row the Third, Kinsey was originally an intelligence agent for the FBI. She had been investigating the syndicate and planning to out them as an underground criminal organization, but the Deckers framed her to make it look like she had been selling secrets and moonlighting as a dominatrix. Her employment was terminated and she was captured by the Deckers. Kensington is a paranoid computer expert who is rescued from a Decker ship by the boss, Pierce, and Shandi. She is assigned to take down the Deckers and its leader. Matt Miller constantly believes he is superior to her, which proves to be his undoing. Her technical skills are unmatched, and her time in the FBI gave her extremely critical and sometimes top secret info, such as the player's real name, Stag's learning computer, and that the Deckers hid the Nemo chair at the Burnsill reactor. In fact, she is rarely without her laptop. Her capture by the Deckers and her inside view from the FBI, which gave her plenty of hidden and top secret information, may have led to Kinsey's extreme agoraphobia. In fact, her agoraphobia is so severe that she'll rarely venture out. When she does, it's only to a small restaurant named Smiling Jack's nearby her crib known as Kinsey's Warehouse. Once at Smiling Jack's, the player can find her hiding under a table. Her social skills have degenerated to such a level that she doesn't even know how to wash her hair. I like your hair. Excuse me? Your hair. Shiny. Um, thanks. You know, if you washed your hair, 
It would look like mine. Can you show me how? Sure. We're like sisters now. Sometime after the events of Saints Row the Third, the Saints go into a joint counter-terrorist operation with Asha Odakar and Matt Miller to assassinate the rogue ex-stag commander Cyrus Temple, who had aligned with terrorists after being exiled from the US. Kinsey acts as the Saints tech support. After the playa kills Cyrus, he manages to launch a nuke in his death throes targeted for Washington. As the playa hops onto the nuke in order to attempt to disable it, Kinsey concludes that their leader is sacrificing themselves and advises everyone to say their final goodbyes. Kinsey confesses that the two of them may have their disagreements, but she would always follow the playa no matter what. The boss manages to destroy the nuke and survive, landing right in the Oval Office of the White House. Five years later, the playa is elected the President of the United States. Kinsey was appointed the press secretary and was also trying to warn everyone of an impending alien invasion, but nobody but Shandi, Miller, and Asha took her seriously. She was proven right when the invasion began in the middle of a press conference, when the alien leader Zinyak announced that only the brightest among humanity shall be spared. Kinsey quickly claimed to be smarter than everyone in the room and was abducted right away. Kinsey was somehow able to escape the Zin's captivity and rescued Vice President Keith David from the virtual simulation each Zin prisoner is forced to endure before going for the playa. She informs them of the virtual reality that they are trapped in and spawns weapons to help the playa disrupt the simulation. However, this draws the attention of Zinyak, who throws playa into a Zin-dominated version of Steelport. Kinsey helps the playa acquire superpowers and escape the simulation as she and Keith David pick up the playa in a stolen Zin ship. Kinsey takes offense to the playa's lack of gratitude and does a mock impression of how pompous her leader is. The boss then expresses genuine gratitude as they escape the Zin mothership. They attempt to call Oleg to mount a counterattack, but he fails to answer before Zinyak atomizes the earth. Enraged, the playa heads back into the simulation to further disrupt it, allowing Kinsey to locate the surviving saints and find a weakness in the Zin's defense so they can get to Zinyak. Once once all the saints are reunited, including Johnny Gat, they rally inside the simulation to confront Zinyak, but they are ambushed from an enormous Zin force. And Zinyak, and Zinyak, and Zinyak, and Zinyak kidnaps Kinsey. Kinsey is subjected to the same 50s style simulation which Zinyak originally used for the boss. When the player enters the 50s simulation to rescue Kinsey, she is under the control of Cyrus Temple, who is preaching his views on a perfect society. And the player is able to stimulate Kinsey by rewiring loudspeakers around the city square, compelling her to dance. After defeating Cyrus, they return to the ship, where Kinsey warns the player against speaking of what occurred in that simulation. But Playa mentions the poodle skirt that she was wearing, compelling Kinsey Kinsey to punch the player in the face. You don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand me? Kinsey, it really wasn't all that. I said anyone. Hey, you got it. I'm just saying, it was a cute poodle skirt. <laughs> After the events of Saints Row 4, Kinsey goes on to be a playable character alongside Johnny Gat in Saints Row Get Out of Hell to help the player escape from hell. And that's where the Kinsey story ends. Unless... Wait, what's happening? Oh god, oh my god, oh dear god, what's happening? Do you smell that? Oh Jesus, oh no, oh no, it's time, it's time! It's now time for your fun facts. Kinsey's inner sanctum is located in the Salander neighborhood. This is a reference to Lisbeth Salander, the hacker protagonist from Stieg Larsson's Millennium Trilogy. Salander and Kinsey both prefer technology to human interaction. In Saints Row III, Kinsey doesn't swear very often, often using mild swear words like damn or hell, for example. But in Saints Row IV, she swears a lot more often, to the point where she called the player a fucking asshole after punching Matt Miller when he said saving Johnny Gat was a bad idea. Later in the game, Oleg reveals that he has romantic feelings for Kinsey. Since she is not present during this revelation, it is never made clear if Kinsey returns these feelings, or indeed is even aware of them. In one of Kinsey's audio logs, she calls Oleg one of the best things that's ever happened to me, and confesses she misses him deeply following the destruction of the earth. Kinsey drives a criminal, the only vehicle in game capable of carrying Oleg. Kinsey claims to know the player's true identity when talking about how everything about everyone is on the internet, while doing one of the Heli Assault missions. But just as she was about to tell him, the player says that they wanted to stay undisclosed. In the CG power trailer, Kinsey has dark hair and wears a black hoodie, while in the game she has red hair and sports a purple hoodie. Some cut dialogue from the mission Return to Steelport had Kinsey say to the player, you were recruited by Julius Little after being caught in the crossfire between the Vice Kings and Los Carnales, the fight that started because a Vice King named Lavar didn't like bitches disrespecting him. You didn't talk much then, but knew a lot about shoes. This throwback references both the streets of Stillwater, the opening cutscene of Saints Row, and what goes up, the final mission 
continuation of the Carnale's story arc in Saints Row, where the player said one of the four lines in the game regarding the shoes. Kinsey is the only saint introduced in Saints Row the Third that is both still alive and active, as Oleg, Josh Burke, Angel, Zemos, and Viola are presumed to have perished in the destruction of the Earth. Kinsey appears as a playable character safe word in the DLC for Agents of Mayhem, a Saints Row spin-off title by Volition. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the history of Kinsey Kensington. Who would you guys rather see next? The history of Donnie, Aisha, or Dane Vogel? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, join my Discord so we can chat when I'm not on YouTube. The RPG Nation is growing steadily every day and we have a nice community. Anyways, let me know which history you'd like to see next. Until next time, stick with your boy, RPG. Peace out. Peace.